Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rich off of Nookazon and how to use Nookazon in general. It is not that hard, so I think you guys will be able to catch on quickly. But before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to my Discord server. There is always a link down below that has an invite so you can join the server. We host giveaways, talk about anything and everything Animal Crossing. We play Mario Kart, we do everything, so make sure to hop on over if you are interested. But with all that said, let's hop on over to Nookazon and get started over there. So here we are on the main screen of the Nookazon website. It has been revamped a little bit, but I'm going to go over everything on this page right here first before I kind of go into how you can create your own listings and make that dough. So we are going to start at the top of the screen next to the Nookazon sign where it says items and it's in red. That's a little drop down menu that you can first filter what exactly you want to search for, whether it be items, a user, or someone's discord. Next to that is obviously just where you can type in whatever you are searching for, whatever it may be, also using that filter. Then they have this list of all the items or things you may be looking for that you could just click on and it'll take you to the page with all the possible items that you may want to buy or list for. This is just the rest of their homepage. You could check that out if you would like to. If you need more help, they have it right there. But I don't use the front page, so moving on. Next, I'm going to go over your little profile. So you could go to your profile by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner. Obviously, you have to sign up in order to have this. Um, so after you've done that, you get to see all of this information, where I'm from, my island, and my name. And then I can put if I'm online, busy, or offline. And if you are offline, all of your listings are not posted, so people cannot give you offers or anything. Your presence must be set to online. You can also add a little bio like I did if you want to check mine out. You could also see I have 5 star reviews. I have 11 of them at the time that this was filmed, when I was last online, if people are following my Nookazon who want to repurchase from me. But then we're going to get to more of the complicated stuff down below. So now that we are moving down, I'm just going to show you that it does say you have to be set to be online for your listings to show. As you can see, because I am offline, um, my listing is no longer live, so I would have to hit the little relist button on that specific listing that I have here. As you can see, I posted it on July 14th and no one had um, given me an offer in the time that I was considered online. So I can just click relist and it will post it again once I make sure that my presence is online. But after that, you can go to your auctions if you have any auctions. Um, I had these two up, but... They weren't really serious ones, so I was just testing it out. Didn't get any offers or anything, but that is where you will see where your auctions are. And you can remove them or mark them as sold. I just chose to remove them because I'm not really looking to use them anymore. Now we are going to move over to offers. This is where you will get a list of people who have offered you Whatever price, whether it be the price you are asking for or if you're asking for them to come up with a price, you can accept, decline, whatever there. You can put stuff in your wish list so people could pay you with wish list items instead of Bells or Nook Mile tickets. Catalog are things that you want to catalog, I believe. I've never used that. And then you have your reviews. You can read every single review someone's left you um, and what you sold them or, you know, traded for. Next, I decided to turn my presents to be online and relist my bamboo pieces, and I did actually sell them later on that day for the price that I listed, so go me! But after that, we are going to head up to the little settings icon next to where we put online. Under settings, there are a lot of things you can do. What I want to talk to you guys about is the Discord notifications and linking your Discord. A. Link your Discord and makes it easier. The messaging on Nookazon is not the best. People can reach out to you on your Discord and message you in those DMs. Um, by linking that, I would turn on the Discord notifications. Every time you will get an offer or a message or a Dodo code update from someone you're selling to or someone you're buying from, that you will get a DM from Nookazon on Discord and you will get notified that way. And if you have Discord on your phone, you will get notifications for your Nookazon DMs so you know when you are getting an offer or whatever it may be. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can make a listing. I'm going to be listing purple hyacinth 
petals so I'm just gonna search up purple you get all the purple flowers or whatever if it doesn't have a pot underneath it that means that like this is just purple hyacinth petals not the actual plant you can see the average price that they sell for also what you can sell them for in game which is the 240 you can save to your catalog or your wish list and you could see what other people are selling them for or asking for in return so here at the top there's this little graph and you can kind of see the trends of what the item has been selling for you can look at that if you'd want I personally don't you could see what auctions are going on and you can see if people are looking for what you're trying to sell you can click on that and then send them your offer but I haven't had one of those work out just yet I just like to post my listing and have people come to me so how do you post a listing? Well, you're going to hit the little red button that says add listing and there are going to be three options. Obviously the selling, you could set up an auction or you can say you are looking for a certain amount of petals. You are then going to put in your amount, I put four, and then how many bells you're looking for or nook mile tickets that you're looking for or you can even press the little check marks and have people put in their own offers to you. Um, you could also select items you want to trade and then you're just going to hit add listing after that and it will be live. So now here is what the DMs will look like. You'll get a DM from Nookazan, it'll tell you what the notification is and give you a link usually. So you're just going to click that link, head on over to Nookazan and see what is up. So in this case I have some offers and I am going to just obviously take the higher offer because someone out not outbid because it wasn't a bidding thing but they outdid them with the number i accepted and then i asked for their dodo code and i went to the other person and i declined their request and said why now i always ask for everyone else's dodo code because if you go to someone else's island you can drop off what they're buying and wait for them to give you the money if they come to your island you could drop the stuff they could take it and run um so i like to play it safe but then you can message them and I always like to message them to make sure we're on the same page and all that. You could see your notifications up in the right corner. Next to that is the chat icon and then the cart is what you have in your cart. Then you just wait for them to give you their dodo code and you head on over, make the transaction. And then once you come back, you will hit complete and you can complete or complete and review them as well. And that is basically it. If you guys have any other questions or want me to make another video on a more specific topic, please let me know down below. I will also answer any of your questions down in the comments as well. Keep in mind that it does take time to get offers, so don't get discouraged if you don't get one right away. Just keep posting things you want to sell and people will usually reach out. So with all that said, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!